So Donkey Kong is a game that I'm not entirely oblivious to. Um, I played it on a Game Boy at my dentist's office uh, in the late 90s or early 2000s. With that said, I've never been particularly good at it. Um, I wanted to choose Donkey Kong because it was the first real platformer, which is an incredibly prominent game type to this day. It was also the first appearance of Nintendo franchise characters that are still around today. Uh, this includes the first time that we meet Donkey Kong, Mario, and Princess Peach. It is certainly a game where you can clearly see the influence of games today, especially with Nintendo branded games. Nintendo predecessors such as Kirby or Super Mario follow similar tactics of things chasing after you to either fight off or jump over. Right off the bat, I don't remember it being so vibrant. Uh, you can see that they were trying to attract people to the game with colors, uh, which is something that is lacking from a game like Asteroids, which is all black and white. Um, the gameplay was not necessarily unsavvy, but I did find it frustrating, uh, mostly because I kept forgetting that X was jump, and that's not an entirely new feature to like Flash games, um, but it definitely made my performance suffer. I am thinking that the emulator tried its best to recreate the limited functionality that you would find on, our, on an arcade machine, um, and I just could not figure out what the point of the second ability key was, which was Z. At first, I couldn't tell you what the scoring system was. Uh, it took a while for me to realize that in order to gain points, you had to actually jump the barrels or hit them with the hammer. Um, it took a long time for me to figure out the jumping barrel, uh, barrel part since I kept forgetting how to jump or I was jumping way too early. There is an obvious jumping skill that I am lacking, and that may have to do with the dynamics of how early we jump in modern video games. Um, there was an obvious feedback uh, with losing. It clearly declared game over and it would restart. And at first I had difficulty noticing the actual scoring system or how it worked. Um, as stated, it took me a while to figure out how to jump those barrels. Um, although I did see immediate feedback with killing things with the hammer. Um, eventually when I started looking for it, I could see where that scoring system was and I could see how the numbers were being reflected. However, I am still unsure what the bonus and the M scoring systems in that top right corner was for or how it worked. When I finally got to the second level, I could see immediately how much more difficult that level would be and I never figured out the umbrella. Uh, other than that, it gave me 800 points. So as a modern 21st century player, uh, this game is not entirely unfamiliar to me. I stated that earlier, I'm 26 years old. Um, so it conjures up a lot of nostalgia for me to be playing these games whose mechanics are not as foreign as I may have initially thought that it would be. It is evident that platformers took a lot from this game, including movement and capabilities, um, though some have iterated on it, and that includes things such as shooting or fighting that we might find in today's platformers. The core mechanics are still the same as they were in Donkey Kong 1981. 